It might come to, to you as a surprise to what I'm talking about. Yep, twins. I know what you're thinking. Hey, Nikki, twins aren't that special and rare. Why are you talking about them? Well, you'll find the answer to that. When my brother Vinny and I were little, we always wanted to be equal. If I had something, you could bet a million dollars he had it. Our favorite thing at the time was a, an ice pack called Boo Boo Bear. Having the Boo Boo Bear stopped us from crying when we hurt ourselves. When one kid had the Boo Boo Bear, the other got jealous or upset. Why we didn't just get a second one, I don't know. We only just had one. Anyway, one day Vinny hits his head on the wall and starts crying. So my mom picks it up on the counter and says, Nikki, go get an ice pack for your brother. So I get the boo bear and I bring it to him. After five minutes, Vinny settles down and I start to get jealous. Then I get an illogical idea, even for a six-year-old. I ask my mom, can I have the boo boo bear? And she says, no, Nikki, you're not hurt. I say, okay. I slam my head against the counter as hard as I can. <laughs> I say, can I have it now? I got the boo boo bear. When I was little, I didn't, like it. I, I didn't like being a twin. I hated being mixed up, and sometimes I didn't like being around him. My personal experience with my twin is hard to relate for most people. We like a lot of the same things, and we act similarly. We're also both very loud. Also, most people aren't called the wrong name 50% of the time. By now, I just answer to Vinny, because there's a chance that they're probably talking to me. I know it's hard for people to confuse us, but come on, it's not that hard. My 91-year-old grandmother, who is blind, can tell the difference to us from us just by hearing our voices. The last thing that really grinds my gears about being a twin is that people say we're exactly alike. Yes, genetically, we are exactly alike, but we each have our own separate personalities and looks. For instance, I'm less talkative and better looking. But seriously, <laughs> we're different people. Other than that downside, it's great having a genetic clone of yourself. I mean, April Fools, it's the best. If I like something, my brother usually likes it too. So it's e easy to play basketball or golf with him because I know he'll always say yes and I never get bored. Being, a, being an identical twin is a very strong connection that is hard to come by. And Vinny and I don't need to understand each other, I mean, don't need to talk to each other to necessarily understand each other. No, I'm not talking about telepathy. I don't really get why people ask, hey Nikki, if I punch you, will Vinny feel it? What do you think, smart one? No. <laughs> I tell them, the only one time that I guess we had a twin moment is when we had the exact same dream on the exact same night. It was pretty creepy. But that's the only time I guess you could say we had telepathy. So I hope I cleared that up. My, as I've said multiple times, my brother and I have a very strong con connection. Some stuff we just do naturally, like this speech and these pants. <laughs> Vinny had the same idea, but he didn't get to do it. Now here's some interesting facts that will help you understand why being a twin is so awesome. About 40% of twins create a secret language as infants. So technically speaking, English couldn't have been my first language. Also, people are always like, Nikki, you're not special. Well, only one out of 250 pregnancies result in identical twins. So when people say that, I say, heck yeah, I am. The last fact I, fact I have for you is fin twins do not share the same fingerprint. Only once has Vinny been able to unlock my phone through Touch ID. I love being a twin. Being older and through my years of experiences being a twin, I found out that being a twin is a gift and I've learned to love my twin. Being a twin is not the only excuse for loving your family. You should love your family no matter what. Family is there for you through good times and the bad times. Family helps you when you have a problem, or if you, have, if you have someone to talk to. Friends change, family does not. Whenever my brother and I fight, my dad comes up to us and says, you guys may not like each other now, but in the end, you're all you have. This is what I think family is about. Even if you're not a twin, now is a good time to realize that you, you'll be with your siblings for the rest of your life. My brother and I hardly ever see eye to eye, and we argue, we make up, and we laugh it off. But most importantly, we care. We try to live our lives as closely as possible and always try to forgive each other along the way. In other words, for most part of our relationship is probably no different from you with your friend or your close sibling. Being a twin might make it easy, this easier, but you don't have to be a twin to love your sibling. So now I hope you know the answer to why I spoke about identical twins. I should know, being one is twin-tastic.
Thank you for your time. It's been great talking with you all.